right, back. We had a glitch in our internet. So, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? So we did, I didn't, luckily I saw before uh, I went on too further. So this is the um, gouache and the yellow that we used here. And if you want to see how I did this so far, you can check back in the last uh, video that was abruptly <laughs> stopped. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some pen work. So I'm going to close this up. And I have some pens somewhere. I like using a fairly small uh, pen, fairly fine when I do mine. That's really fine. Could use it, but uh, the other colors we got here. We've got a five in brown. Maybe we'll use brown this time. Yeah, I've got a nice, here's a one brown. Let's use this uh, instead of the black. You could use black if you prefer black, use it. Uh, just better check that I'm actually... I've lost everybody, I see. So, yeah, I think I'm still good as far as my volume. <laughs> and let's see. Live viewers comment show up on me. This is an example. Okay. I had to reboot everything. Okay, why is that up there? Um, hide. Okay, that was weird. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, let's do some uh, pen work. So this is a one. And I'm going to start off with the... Uh... <laughs> hey, Joan. I am I internet went out on me and then I had to reboot and <sighs> turn the uh, internet off and oh my gosh so I'm just going to play a few lines in here where I would think my Uh, shadows basically would be in this. Probably around the very inside here. Uh, there might be a, a few um, little folds in the petal of the trumpet. Just put a few of those in, maybe down in here in the throat, like that. This uh, internet, uh, well, I'm in a small town, so that 
is one thing that's against me as far as the internet is concerned. Because uh, we only have uh, one provider and they're not the best, but you got to work with what you got. So, just making some a little bit of marking in the center here. It'd be a little bit of I like sketchy, but you know, if you like it just with a paint, then that's all you need. So I basically concentrate on uh, where the shadows would be in most of this uh, sketch part. Be a little bit of a, a little bit of a shadow in there. Uh, yeah, it's a pita for sure, but it's a little better than it first. Um, when I first moved down here, it was horrible. I was always going out. Um, but it's still, you know, it's pretty hard to, uh, do any kind of live when you're not sure whether <laughs> you're going to be live for long, but like I said, you got to work with what you got. that. That looks cute. And then this here. And you don't even have to uh, keep to the color or, or the form. You could go outside the lines. It's a bit of a bulge that comes with this here. And then this is kind of papery. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put lines in it because it, it does look papery. Like that. And then this, would it be a little bit more shadowed? So I'm going to make some strokes down there with the shadows. A little bit there. Sometimes the ends of your uh, petals, or not petals, uh, leaves, would be um, starting to age. So sometimes you'll see the very tips browning. You can do that. Maybe this one's overlapping. And there is a, actually a, a center rib line in the leaf, too that you could put in. You know, it's all in how you like. And this, like I said, this is where I like to experiment, try things, just play. Sometimes they don't work out, but I learned something by doing it. That's what you got to do. 
It's fun. I like doing it. Oh, thanks, Joe. Uh, this little guy, yeah, you could put in a little bit of shadowing under here, maybe. The muscari stem might uh, be a little more noticeable in there. It'd be darker because it's inside the flowers there. So you could put that in there. Um, maybe there's little stems you might see off of the some of the petals of those flowers. They're like a little bell shape. Um, they kind of hang down. So you could put that in too, just to represent how they're shaped. Just have fun with it. You don't have to do them all, but uh, put some in. It gives it a little bit more interest. And these, um, let's put a little bit on the, a little more texture on the bottom here, where it would be darker. So we'll just add some uh, strokes. Maybe there's a little You could do this in any color. If you wanted to, you could actually just use green or blue for the blue part. Get your books out. Hey, Dorothy. Ah, oh, my, my internet went out on me. So I had to reboot everything and then re <laughs> come on. I live in a small town, not a city. So our internet's kind of crappy. But I try to come on and do lives and you just never know. That's why I'm kind of slowly going back to just video because it's, it's very disheartening and a lot of people kind of get angry that uh, I quit all of a sudden or, you know, which is kind of weird, but Now, sometimes you'll see uh, just a very slight edge of the petals that are wrapped around each other. So you can put those in. Uh, I'm going to kind of follow the, there's a bit of a, a difference in pattern here, and that's what I'm going to use. Or not pattern, in um, color. So we'll just use that. And it just gives it that look. And just take it down, show where those Again, you don't have to do all of this. If you like it the way it is without the marks, you can do that. Then they actually, these, um, if you ever notice, the leaves on crocus, there is a stripe down the center of the leaf. 
um, usually lighter though. So you could take uh, a white pen or what have you. Okay, well, here, I think I might have a, a blue. Let's see what we can do with a blue there. Maybe it doesn't work. Nope. Do I have a blue? Just plain blue. There's blue. Yes. Let's try this blue. You can get blue, well, quite a few colors in the uh, microns. Okay, let's do this blue and I'll show you the difference. So, A little bit. Looks, it does look pretty. You don't have to do it all. I like to uh, usually just wear the um, shadows would be. Now there is a kind of a marking. Uh, I think I did one way back. Let me check. Pretty sure I did one. See, there's markings in white. So kind of a, a rib. Like that. And then just a very light touch. Some of them are, it depends what um, type they are also. Some are a little smoother looking, don't have that line work in them. You can get them in different colors. I really like them though. They're so nice to have first thing in the spring. One of my favorites. And they're, they disappear in the summertime, so. She sees a blue at the very bottom. Amazing. <laughs> it was meant to be.
like that. Oh, here comes one of the dogs. So then we have that line again. You can take a look at on the internet, see what they look like. Or in real life, take some pictures. They're fun to pick. No, uh, make sure they're, they're yours though. I don't think somebody might uh, object if you pick theirs. <laughs> That's Chloe, if you can hear that. I don't know why, but they don't want to be down here for some reason. They won't come down when I'm down here. I don't know why. Like that. And then let's put, usually you can see the, it's very dark on the tip. You can see the the wrapping of the and usually the lines show like that. Well, let's see what happens. That's what we're here for to learn. Put the the blue on the green here. And it's going to turn green. Cool. Be a little bit of a like that. So up the side, a little bit of a uh, color on here it'd be some shadow underneath we can put that in just get a sketchbook out and start sketching and the more you do the more you'll see and the more you'll understand what you like and you don't like you get better and better as as the more you do. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so there's that. So as you can you can get a bunch of different colors. You can buy them in sets. So there's the blue pen, and that's the uh, sepia, I believe it was. It's fun. Um, then you could put spring in big letters, however you want to do it. Um, oh, here. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you this too. This is uh, in the this month's blooming and art um, and budding artists. Uh, it's already up if you haven't uh, seen this yet. It's on the Patreon and also on the other. So you can download the traceable for this and then um, watch the video on how I painted this. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, you'll have to go into the community page on um, YouTube. I haven't put it up in the members. Um, video that you see on my channel yet I, it's funny i can't do that if patreon is seeing it i have to put it up twice and that takes a lot of downloading and uploading <laughs> so i'll put that up as soon as possible this is a little easter springtime one it was fun so what can we do here hmm. 
could do, uh, write spring. I always, I'm not a great um, calligrapher like Dee Dee. <laughs> But I think I'm going to put spring here. So something. Um, do I want? I want it all in, I don't know. Maybe. That's a little close to the edge, but it's kind of cute. So this this is what I do. It's like, okay, that's why I use pencil. <laughs> then I, I decide, okay, I want to space these out a little bit more. But at least I got the idea. I like the S. Let's do the P a little bit smaller, skinnier. And we'll do, I'm going to do a Yeah, like that. Yeah, you like the Easter Bunny? Um, and then let's see. You could use big markers, or I do have calligraphy pens. Let's see what I got here. Um. I hardly ever use. This is a bigger one. Yeah, I don't know if you've used these these parallel pens. I've had these for years. Look at that. I haven't even opened it. Isn't that terrible? These are cool pens. They're easier to use than uh, a, a dip pen. They come with ink. I don't know what that's for. Okay. I 
I'm not sure how long I should read, I guess. Sorry, I should have done this beforehand, but I'm going to just keep it down like this for now. Nib cleaner. Hmm. Oh, cool. I can do uh, gradient. Uh, hold pens in with the nib pointing down and nib pointing forward. See you now. Oh, okay. I was supposed to squeeze it first. <sighs> Where you go? Well, I can't do that now because I can't get this darn thing off. Oh, there we go. Got to squeeze the Till it comes out, I guess. Unscrew barrel, attach the pen, insert cartridge until the nib points down. Uh, after inserting cartridge, squeeze the cartridge gently before use to allow the flow of the nib. Be careful to apply too much pressure. Yeah. But it's not doing it. Hmm. Well, that's a going to use up the whole cartridge at this point. Oh, there we go. Now oh, it's working. All right, sorry guys, you probably <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Well, let's do it on a piece of paper first. That might be an excellent idea. <laughs> 
before I botch it up. Let's do it on the back of this. Yeah. All right. There we go. Didn't go bad. Didn't go through. That's good. There. Let it dry and then we can erase anything. Spring. Let's give it a dry. And then just erase anything that shows as far as pencil line on my and there it is. That's cute. And then uh, over here I can uh, start talking about my garden, what's blooming right now, that type of thing. These are really inexpensive, guys, so if you're interested in uh, a real simple way of uh, getting this type of printing without having to work at it too much, <laughs> these are great. You can get them in sets, too. I got them on Amazon. Uh, let's see. I'll we'll just mark this as... This is the, what's the date today? Uh, 28th. All right. Thanks, Joan. Yeah, it's very simple. So I hope you'll give it a try. You could put a whole lot more on if you want splatters. You could put splatters on there. Maybe let's put some splatters on. We got a bit of time here. And then I'll have to go because Chloe's starting to wimp. And I want a fairly loose brush. And let's put ah, some Some of the splatters, maybe some yellow. It's bright yellow. Maybe a touch of green. 
little bit of green. There. And that's it. So that's cute. Sorry about the interruption with the internet, but I think it turned out cute. So just look at the form of your flower. Don't look at the uh, at all the detail, just the form. Do your initial layer. I had a lot of fun. Oh, did you did you actually do some? And I'd love to see it. I'll hope you show it on your um, your stream. And Lair, if you're seeing that, uh, she has a stream she does every week. Let's check her channel out. Okay, so I'll let you guys go and get out there. If you're having some nice spring weather, get out there. Enjoy the fresh air and the birds singing and get your sketchbook out and do some little draw a little bit of drawing. Or take some pictures and come back and get a cup of tea and draw in your sketchbook. All right, everybody. So have a fantastic day and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye for now.